Definitely having bipolar disorder is a roller coaster of emotions. It's a mood disorder characterized by you know, extreme highs and extreme lows. The nature of the disease is that you experience emotions so extremely to the point where um, you feel like you're better off not living if you're in a depressive state, or on the flip side, you feel so good that you wanna go to Vegas or just do all these crazy things and spend all the money in your bank account. Like most people kind of have emotions that go like this, like throughout their weeks, months, years but bipolar people kind of go like this, right? Our sad is a lot deeper and our happy is a lot higher. It's not something I can control, right? Um, like, believe me, if I could choose to not have this, I would not have it. A lot of the misconceptions about, well, like any mental health issue, obviously is that like, we're crazy. People are crazy. Um, and no, it's not that. It's just like, we have an internal battle that like other people just don't have to deal with. Definitely don't think people understand that the disorder is over long periods of time. Even a like common colloquialism is to say, you know, if someone's being hot or cold about something, like where you want to go to eat, um, they'll say, God, you're being so bipolar right now. Bipolar people definitely don't like that <laughs> because uh, it kind of diminishes something that to us is so extreme. I grew up really feeling like there was something wrong with me and that I was broken. And so when I finally got to college and got diagnosed and someone told me like, no, 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 there's other people like you. We know how to deal with it. Like, you're going to be fine. Just It was just like a, like a sigh of relief. And if I can give that to other people by like talking about it and being very open, then that's what I want to do, right?